I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The reason it's called that is because every decision you make in the Charleston impacts the next. So there's a trajectory that gets set. That word is really hard to say, but it fits because you could be playing one hand or have an idea for a hand and end up playing something completely different at the end of the Charleston. This exercise is a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer, so I'll get 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Whoa, we have four jokers, a flower, a west, one bam, two, three, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of sevens. In dots, we have a, se a three, seven. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would definitely think about a quint. Maybe using the sevens, because that's where our multiple is, so I would keep the west. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play like numbers with sevens in news, or maybe something with big odds. And we do have tiles we can pass. It's a little risky. But having these jokers kind of gives us an advantage. So for plan A, I think I would focus on maybe the first quint hand and see what comes in. There are some consecutive quint hands that might work around the seven. So for the first iteration, let's focus on quints. And then maybe the second iteration, we'll play maybe big odds since we have a nine. So I'm going to take a photo of this starting hand. And we're going to pass these three. I'll take a photo of that. We did get an eight, seven, eight. There's a six for six, seven. We have a north for maybe the quint with winds. So if we do seven, eight, or six, seven, yeah, we need, we need tiles to pass is the thing. Seven, eight. Let's keep the winds and pass those three. Keep the eight and see if we can do something consecutive with seven, eight. So let's take a photo. We got an eight and a six. At this point, I would let the winds go. Still focus on maybe a quint. Seven, eight, quint. Seven, eight, quint. Let's discard these three. Take a photo. Okay, I don't like passing white dragons. So here we have seven, eight, seven, eight, a flower. Here's a six. There is a consecutive quint, six, seven, eight, in one suit. Let's pass the white dragon. And take a photo of that. 
we've got an eight. I would play seven, eight quint past these three. I'll take a photo. We do have a flower here and we have all the eights. We could play like numbers with eights, but I think I would rather use these jokers to help us get a quint. So I think what I would do here, we're on last right. So I do not like passing a flower. You know, the other thing I was just thinking, we could do seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight with all these jokers and use those flowers. All right, so let's pass these. We got a seven, nine. Okay, now I need to take a photo of that. We'll have to figure out that blind pass. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't a blind pass. That was the last right. We passed blind. So now we're going to do the optional cross. So we have seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. We have all the sevens. This is where I was thinking about maybe the like numbers all the sevens, but we'd have to let an eight go. But with all these jokers, I think we could do that quint. Let's ask for two. And we got no keepers, which is fine. So we have four discards, but a little bit of joker bait, maybe. Flowers are not that great for joker bait because there are so many of them. And there could be another player in between who can get to that joker before you. If you want to know more about that strategy, there are links in the video description below. It's basically where you hold a pair you don't need. And then late in the game, like middle of the middle wall, you discard one and someone it calls it for an exposure with a joker. And then you make the exchange. But with flowers, there could be people in between you who have a flower who can get to that joker before you. So... That's why joker bait with flowers is not that great. Um, okay, so I would say this would be that quint. So we could do seven, eight, maybe use these in there. Seven, eight, we need help with one, eight. And then of course we need a pair tile here. But I think that was a pretty good choice. Now let's see what would have happened with probably big odds or like numbers. So we are going to recreate this. This is what we started with. I created the mock Charleston as best I could, but we passed blind. So I had to guess which tile that was based on the close tiles to here. So this may be off the tile, but that's okay. We can still practice decision-making. If you pass blind after the exercise, take a photo of all the past tiles, and that way you can figure out what that blind pass was. Okay, so here we're going to try big odds. Big odds or like numbers. So let's pass these three. Okay, we got big numbers, six, eight. Maybe big numbers instead of just big odds. Let's pass these three. Keep big numbers. Well, we've got all the big numbers. Six. Okay, so we have a flower. All right, building around the seven here. We have nine, 
six seven eight nine six seven eight seven eight nine six seven eight nine nine We need three tiles to pass. I think I would, let's see, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, one suit Kongs, or that one suit Quint. Let's see, we need another tile. I think no matter how you slice this, it's gonna have a little risk. There's six. Okay, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, here's a dragon. Maybe we could play a concealed hand for value. Six, seven, but if you have a lot of jokers, I would play an exposable hand. Let's risk it. Okay, so we have six, seven, eight, East, I would let go, I would pass all these. Focus on six, seven. Flower. I'd probably let that nine go and play six, seven, eight flowers. There's a nine, <laughs> but still, I think I would do the same. Now I wouldn't pass like numbers. I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair, I think. So here I would play six, seven, eight, maybe with all these jokers, pair, pung, kong, five flowers. So let's ask for two. No keepers, discards. So that's how I would do it. We could use all these jokers to help with pair or pung, Pear, Pung, Kong, five flowers. Three discards, so this had better results, but it's a lower point hand. I think that Quint in the first iteration was just as strong. It was one off of being set. So I think six, one half dozen the other on this one. If you would have done something differently in this iteration, write it in the comment section below. If you have a set of tiles at home, try this exercise. It is a great way to test your instincts and still practice making decisions during the Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.